You gotta love how the WWE values your voice. They care about you, the WWE Universe. And no, I mean it. It's really true. Look at this. They just recently sent out a survey asking for your feedback, your opinions on some of the DVD topics and video topics that they wanted to do as potential future projects. And you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, I'm a member of the WWE Universe too. I've got a voice. WWE wants to hear my voice, don't they? Well, I, I want to I wanna let them know what I think about it. Hey, you know what? A video about the history of what happened between Andy Kaufman and Jerry Lawler, outstanding. A video about you know, Mike Tyson being a convicted rapist, getting out of prison, and Vince McMahon rolling the dice, spending millions of dollars to bring him in to help launch the Attitude Era and establish Stone Cold Steve Austin as a household name throughout this country and all around the world. Hell yeah, I love to see videos about those type of topics. But I've got some topics, too, that I'd love to see the WWE do. If we want to go for controversy... And if we want that controversy to create cash, then by God, if you're going to go there, I always believe you die facing. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Here's some of my ideas for controversial video topics for the WWE. How about this one? Oh, this is a good one. This deals with politics and money. Who doesn't love stories about that? Potential scandals, too. Don't be a menace to Greenwich while blowing $100 million on two Connecticut Senate campaigns. Oh, man, this will be the interesting story about how a CEO and his wife decide that it's a good idea to waste $100 million of company funds over the course of three years to try and run as moderate Republicans in a deeply entrenched blue Democratic state like Connecticut. Imagine the box office that type of video could do. Outstanding. Here's another good one. How about stock fraud the WWE way, where you artificially represent what you're actually going to be able to accomplish in your television deal, and you try to fudge the numbers and misrepresent facts in order to make it seem like your WWE network is going to be a much bigger immediate fin fiscal and financial success than it's actually going to be, where it ends up creating a huge bubble for your stock price where it more than doubles in a very short order of time, only to come crashing back down to earth with potential SEC investigations and everything. Man, people love movies like Greed and The Wolf of Wall Street. They're going to love stock fraud the WWE way. That's got to be a WWE Studios project right freaking now. And if we want to do something to talk about equality, how about riding in cars with boys? The Pat Patterson story. You could do all types of sequels. You could do Pat Patterson goes to Eagle Scout camp. You know, just one example. That's a whole series of videos right there. Now, when you think of controversy, though, the WWE thinks John Cena, the most controversial figure in the history of the company. Well, let's take the most controversial individual in the history of the company, and let's give them the most controversial topic you possibly can. Here's an idea for a video. Here's an idea for an entire DVD series. Even John Cena poops. Now, I realize the anti-scat groups will sit there and refer to it as nothing more than smut and hardcore porn. But by God, this is there to teach the children that even hustle loyalty and respect and even the chain gang and seed nation still have to go once or twice a day and move their bowels because even John Cena poops. Imagine the controversy it creates, and imagine the cash it puts in the hashtag ass pocket of the WWE. Now, here's a good one that deals with life and love and politics and business and nepotism from China to the penthouse. The life and loves of Paul Levesque. How he goes from dating and boning an individual that looks like a man in the front and probably looks like a man in the back to marrying the boss's daughter and entrenching himself as a potential future CEO of the biggest sports entertainment conglomerate in the entire world. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, does need to be a WWE Studios project right now. But perhaps the most controversial topic of all that the WWE could do, and could you imagine the anti-worker, pro-business, corporate spin they could put on this topic? CM Punk forms a wrestler's union. Oh, God. You imagine Vince McMahon would come out blazing, guns loaded, 
banging, ready to go. CM Punk wants to form a wrestler's union. He wants the WWE to allow the wrestlers to actually be independent contractors and work wherever they want. He wants them to actually pay half of the Social Security tax that right now the wrestlers have to pay all of. He wants employer-provided health insurance. <sighs> Ooh. You talk about controversial topics. This has got 99% versus the 1%. Wall Street versus Main Street written all over it. But no, I don't suppose WWE would actually do any of these video topics. You know, I just bring them up to show to me what is the ridiculous of one of the potentially discussed topics that the WWE floated out there in this recent survey, the passing of Owen Hart. Now, today marks the 15-year anniversary of Owen Hart's unfortunate and untimely passing at Over the Edge 1999. It shouldn't surprise me that Vince McMahon and the WWE would want to continue to capitalize on that tragic event by potentially doing a video or a DVD where they could profit and make money off of something that was so unfortunate and so untimely and so unnecessary. Now, it was bad enough 15 years ago that Vince McMahon said, The show must go on! Through hell or high water... Till death do you part, we're still doing it anyways. And now 15 years later, somebody has signed off on this potentially being a good idea. Look, I'm all about doing controversial things. I do believe in the old mantra that Eric Bischoff used to espouse, that controversy creates cash. But then there also gets to be a point in time where you would hope you would have some standards. And I realize in today's society, and it's been this way in the U.S. in particular for many years, there's no such thing as taste. There's no such thing as standards. Look at television today, in particular reality television. Look at music today, whether it's pop, whether it's rap, it's crap. What happened to taste? What happened to standards? Look at all, so many of the movies that are crap today. And just look at all this stuff. Look at the WWE itself and wrestling itself today. It's crap. There are people that actually accept this crap, hot garbage as being good, wholesome, fun entertainment. Our standards have dropped that low. But you would think at some point in time, somebody would sit there and have enough sense to say, no, you know what, that's not a wound we need to reopen. That's not something we need to go after. That's not something that we need to pathetically try to capitalize on. All it's going to do is open up old wounds. It has no therapeutic value. And any money that you make off of it ultimately as a company is nothing more than blood money. Now, of course, Vince McMahon has no problem making uh, blood money. He's been doing it for years making money off of other people's blood and, in a lot of cases, their lives. I just really hope that the WWE doesn't actually decide to do a video or a DVD or a documentary about the passing of Owen Hart. We don't need to go there. It's been 15 years now. If you want to do a video where you celebrate the life of Owen Hart and you talk about his accomplishments, you put him in the Hall of Fame, you give his family some money, even though to me, if I'm the family, why would I even want your blood money at this point? You want to take care of the family, then that's one thing. But to sit there and so overtly, in my opinion, try to capitalize on such a tragic event of 15 years ago, you know, that's something I expect from the state-run, corporate-owned, lamestream, mainstream media in this country today. I would hope that WWE, and maybe naively so, I would hope the WWE would have more standards and more class than that. But as is so often the case, just when we think the WWE can't stoop any lower, they find a way to totally outdo themselves, don't they?